Today we're adding simulated texture onto our castle. So we had to ask ourselves, what is this castle made out of? Most likely rock. There's a couple different ways you could go about adding rock texture. You could have it out of like old stone, which means kind of like organic shapes that are a little bit ovally. If you want a more concrete, like brick, red bricks, I would curve the horizontals. So I'm keeping a curve so it looks like a, like the tower is curving. It'll make it more 3D. And then you want the verticals to be staggered. So I'm gonna make those verticals go in between the row below. What often people want to do, but that isn't very aesthetically pleasing, is to do straight verticals and straight horizontals like a grid. And it really flattens it out. And I'll show you the difference. So look at these two textures. They're both supposed to be brick, but you can see that this one looks a lot more realistic than this one. You need to use at least three textures. Think about your roofs. That could be your second texture. So the walls are your first texture. They are shingles. They're almost like fish scales going down. It could be like a straw top, which is gonna be lots of lines that go down. It could be kind of like a smooth, so maybe you do some curved lines. Your third texture could be your door. The I'm gonna add some wood to my door. So I'm thinking about wood texture and wood grain. So they're gonna be some organic ovally lines. If I have any water, that could be a texture that I use. I'm just gonna use some kind of wavy lines to show movement. If you're doing concrete walls like this, you want it to follow the bottom. So it's gonna be straight across but then you wanna stagger those verticals. So the vertical goes in between. 